And good Tuesday afternoon to you, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm Carla Heath Sands. Authorities have confirmed that the body of former city commissioner Kenderson Hill was recovered from the Georgia Power Dam this morning. WALB News 10's Mackenzie Blaze is live at the Albany Police Department with new information in this heartbreaking story. And Mackenzie, what were you able to learn? Thanks, Carla. We have learned that Kenderson Hill's body was recovered from the Georgia Power Dam around 7.30 this morning. Georgia Power employees say that they saw a body floating in the dam, immediately notified law enforcement, and that was around 6.45. Chief Persley says that the family has been notified and that the body will be sent to the GBI crime lab for an autopsy, which will take place on Wednesday morning. Crews began searching for Hill on Sunday, and his family even organized a community search of the Catalina Beach Estates area on Monday, but the cause of death has not been confirmed. Uh, this is where we don't need any speculations, rumors, or myths. If you don't know about it, be quiet. Don't say anything. Uh, be respectful of the family. Be respectful of Mr. Hill, and please be respectful of our community. In my 30 years of policing, I will say that uh, we have experienced drownings in pools, but I would say that drownings in uh, the Flint, along with uh, holding ponds, in, in my 30, I think this is the, the, the most that we've had in a year. Kenderson Hill served as Albany City Commissioner from 1995 to 2000. And when I spoke to the family yesterday, they mentioned how much love he had for this city and how much this Albany community really meant to him. I'm Mackenzie Blaze reporting live in Albany. Back to you in the studio, Carla. All right, of course, we'll have much more on this story later today. Thank you so much, Mackenzie.